The high-speed rail project suffers another major setback. The Federal Railroad Administration cutting off funds to build the project. They were notifying the high-speed rail authority earlier today, ripping up their financial agreement and canceling a payment. It's the latest dagger the Trump administration is throwing at this controversial project. KC24's Bailey Miller now live in Fresno. Supporters and those against the project responding tonight. And Bailey, that includes Governor Newsom. Yes, it does. And here it is, the high-speed rail project right behind me. Construction workers are here late into the evening. You may even be able to see some sparks that we've been seeing as they work on this project. But will this project continue? That is the question. I spoke with supporters and opponents of this. Some people say California had this coming, and they say that they deserve to get all this money taken away. But others are still supportive of the project and remain optimistic. The California High Speed Rail Project has taken a huge hit. The Federal Railroad Administration notified project leaders it's canceling $929 million. On top of that, it wants $2.5 billion back it already spent on the project. The Federal Railroad Authority administrators say the high speed rail violated the terms of its agreement and consistently failed to make reasonable progress on the project. They also say the state abandoned its original version by focusing only on a segment through the Central Valley. California, you got what? Is coming to you. Assemblyman Jim Patterson says this isn't a political game. He says the state didn't abide by the rules. This is what the federal government does to hold states accountable. Patterson adds because the agreement was not followed, the administration had no other choice, but he says he has mixed feelings and hopes the state doesn't leave the Central Valley in a mess. Former Fresno County Supervisor Henry Perea has been supportive of the high speed rail project and remains optimistic. In the meantime, we have to just uh, keep our head down, keep moving forward, and all hands on deck to get the project done. And Governor Newsom is not giving up. He released a statement following the cancellations of funds, stating the Trump administration's action is illegal and a direct assault on California, our green infrastructure, and thousands of Central Valley workers who are building this project. And the state of California says they do plan to take the federal government to court over this decision. We're still waiting to hear when that will be. For now, live in Fresno, I'm Bailey Miller, KC24, Local News That Matters. Thank